I completely forgot to wrap my white elephant gift. Um, it's a razor scooter. This is editing Zoe. I realized I completely forgot to record an intro. Uh, basically, this is me making a light up Christmas sweater. I've made a bunch in the past. Um, my first one was, I think, in eighth grade. And basically, I just got a, I just like, I think super glued, no. Very poorly sewed a, a small string of lights to a sweatshirt and then covered it in glitter and everything. And I wore it to school. And since then, I've created a bunch of other ugly Christmas sweaters. And I was going to a very small get together with some friends. And I was like, ah, oh, I haven't made one in so long. I should do it now. So I wanted to show off that process because <laughs> it makes me really happy, even though I'll probably be posting this video in like, June if we're lucky. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I had to do was extend the arms of the sweater because it was my best option when I went to Goodwill. I did this whole thing in like a day, I believe. So I bought the sweater at Goodwill, washed it, and then the next day did this. And the arms are too short because I have kind of long arms. So I made cuffs and what I'm using is basically the lower half of a t-shirt that I made into a crop top and I figured it because it had the uh, hem at the end from the bottom of the t-shirt I figured it would be perfect for making little cuffs so basically I just measured the opening of the sweatshirt um, and then made these little fabric tubes and then hand sewed them on later and here I am hand sewing those cuffs onto the end of the sweater sleeves um, it took me probably an hour and a half to two hours. I was very tired at the end of it, but it is a knit sweater and I wasn't sure how the sewing machine would react to that. So I wanted to make sure I didn't mess anything up. So this is the next day and I'm mapping out how I want to create this Christmas tree shape. I have a lot of different trims and ribbons and laces, most of which I've gotten from my grandma from her own sewing collection that she just doesn't really use anymore. I ended up going with that thick silver trim to create the Christmas tree shape and I just cut out little sections to create like a, a general tree shape going in and out. Um, and then I also uh, covered the camera up with a plastic bag by accident. Uh, and then <laughs> glued down the silver ribbon and then used this uh, red sequin as trim for the sleeves. And then after that, I used some gold rick rack uh, to act as kind of like strings of lights on the Christmas tree. And then I also had these shiny colorful buttons also for my grandma to act as Christmas ornaments. And then after I was done with the tree, I am hot gluing down this thick, really lacy gold ribbon. Originally, I was going to sew it down and then I realized that that would take actual hours doing it by hand. So I just said, you know what? Hot glue is my best friend here. And it worked out great. I mean, sure, the bottom of the sweater doesn't like stretch anymore, but I don't see it as a problem. I think it turned out fine. And finally, the part we've all been waiting for, putting the actual lights in this light up ugly Christmas sweater. First I counted, there were 15 individual bulbs on the string, so I needed to make sure I distributed them, distributed them evenly across the Christmas tree, just sticking the light bulb through the sweater, and then later hot gluing it down so that it wouldn't come back through, um, and it would just just be the light coming through and then I also hot glued a little pouch on the inside of the sweater to hold the battery pack so that it wouldn't just be completely swinging around held up only by a little bit of hot glue and that also worked out really well I've done that on a few past sweaters and I think this was the best version of that And 
and here is the final reveal. I am super happy with how it came out. I thought the cuffs on the sleeves actually worked a lot better than I thought they would. Um, I'm so happy with how I placed the lights and all the fun ornaments. And I think the gold trim at the bottom was a really nice touch. This sweater is very warm. Um, surprisingly, it's not too scratchy. There's also little bells that I put on it. So that's what I'm doing here, trying to shake the bells. Um, and I'm just really happy with how this came out. Okay, and that is that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're wondering, I had a great time at the party. The sweater was a hit. It was very hot though because it was like, like 50 degrees on that evening in December because I live in the south. Um, I think it was probably my best uh, ugly Christmas sweater, light up Christmas sweater that I've made. Uh, namely because I didn't use glitter glue like I have in previous ones and I don't normally mind a lot of glitter like even if it gets on me whatever it just becomes a problem if I'm at, at somebody's house or in their car and the glitter gets everywhere because even though it's like glue it doesn't stay glued like just a brush and there's just it's glitter there's glitter everywhere. So I'm very glad I didn't do that this time, leaving a trail of glitter in my wake. I am gonna have some more Christmas related videos coming out soon, even though it is January slash February slash maybe March. I don't know when, when they're gonna be coming out, but um, I, I made a lot of Christmas presents and um, I just did a lot of crafts over this few over that few weeks uh, that I really want to share because I it was just very exciting and very fun um, and things that I don't see a lot of on YouTube so I figured I might as well share it and make some unique content kind of unique I don't know if you like this video you can hit the like button if you really liked it this is a new thing they're trying you can hit subscribe I know it sounds a little it's a little wacky but it's this new thing they're trying out on YouTube. You hit the little subscribe button. And if you really wanna know when the next video is coming out, you can hit that little bell. If you feel so inclined, I would really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.